your little sister on YouTube here, Rapture Sister. And today, I'm going to talk about the issue that made this year the worst. The death of Jacksepticeye's dad. Now, we heard that one of my favorite YouTubers, Jacksepticeye, his father just died. And I can understand the pain that he is feeling right now. Because the internet is a virtual war zone filled with fake news, trolls, dishonesty, playmate Tessie, and disrespect. Not only they made fun of Jack, but they also made fun of his dad's death by making unacceptable memes. Not just memes, there were also videos from random trolls who were happy to announce that Jack Septicai's father died and was sent to hell. They even made a gacha video that shares the same yet disgusting concept. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Jacksepticeye's dad and why he deserved to die. Guys, okay, so if you guys didn't know, Jacksepticeye's dad died recently. I'm gonna be doing a Jacksepticeye 3 a.m. challenge. I've already did it on the channel, but check out that video, it's in my video. Okay, anyways, so the reason why I think Jacksepticeye's dad, leave a comment below if you think this video is helpful. The reason why I think Jacksepticeye's dad deserved to die is because he made fun of this guy named George Floyd. And if you didn't know, Jacksepticeye's dad was a racist. Same with Jacksepticeye. People aren't talking about it. You guys have to spread the news because Jacksepticeye's dad is literally racist. Well, how would you guys feel? You feel happy? You feel satisfied? Or disturbed? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> they are doing this just to get attention because what the hell this is youtube right you can you can get to do whatever you want ay 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 each of their videos about jack's father's death received negative comments and dislikes but there are still more to come of course jack septic i saw all of this and he was not happy about them he was about to take a break from YouTube and then suddenly, he uploaded a video about his father's loss and addresses a message to those people who trolled him and his dad. And believe me or not, if you are one of these trolls, then this message will make you regret for what you have done. Um, to any of you who posted memes about it and posted uh, negative stuff about it, you are absolute scum and I fucking hate you because you made something that was hard, so much harder to go through. Um, and being a person of influence online, it's sort of hard to avoid a lot of things. Um, and it's hard to go through something like this, knowing that so many people are around and so many people know who you are and so many people want information and so many prying eyes on things. But thankfully, most people were very kind and very sincere and genuine. I can understand how Jack Jacksepticeye felt after his dad passed away. Because you know, my father passed away since July 19 and I was crying so hard that I wished that it was all a dream. I was crying so hard that I couldn't even sleep that night because I'm, I'm starting to have headaches. And I pray that it was all a dream, this was all a dream, please let this be a nightmare, wake me up from this terrific nightmare, but no, it's not. It is real. I had to face the fact that it's not all a dream. My father needs some rest. And I'll have you know that he is not just my father, he is also my best friend. And to all of you disrespectful trolls out there, what are you even doing with your life? Don't you realize that there are better things to do than disrespect someone who had just lost someone very important to them? Why dare making videos and memes that celebrates Jacksepticeye's death? Why make memes of him? Why call him a racist, of course? If you think that it's entertaining to mock a cancer patient, or people with disabilities, or a death of someone's loved one, then you are not human. No, you're completely not human at all. No, you don't have a trait of a normal human being. Maybe you should consider visiting a doctor to help you. You should wake up and face the facts that this is life. Let me ask you this. If your father passed away and someone made 
videos, comments, and memes of you and your father's death, how would you feel? You would feel bad, of course. You would feel angry or whatever. So please show some respect towards others and keep your mouth shut. Fathers are not just your parents. They are not just the head of the family. They are also your best friend, your protector from Bioshock, your playmate, and a shoulder to cry on. So losing a dad or a mom is unacceptable, and we all have to accept it. Friends need to show some respect as well or else. And Jacksepticeye, I am very sorry for your father's loss and my deepest condolences to you. I hope this video teaches everybody a lesson here, so don't be shy to like and subscribe and leave a comment on my video. This is Rapture Sister, your little sister on YouTube, signing out.